got a table here. Yeah. Um, and I promise you, I didn't just push a box off for the fun of it. So, so it means that means the gold box got a home, huh? The gold box got a home in a unique way, and and I've never had it quite happen this way. But I had a guy that I have walked past probably. Well, he started his he started in May of this year. And one of my shops and I talked to him hey you know you know anything you need no I'm good which he just changes all so uh, there ain't a whole whole lot of stuff but there is some stuff some right. some old guys buy a lot some old guys don't buy a lot really depends on what you're getting paid because some places think that just because you change oil that means that you only need to make six dollars right which I know it's not six dollars but still right. uh, so I went into that shop Wednesday and I didn't even see him at the time, but I, I was actually getting ready to to leave. I had done talk to everybody, uh, passed out all my flyers, and I was getting ready to leave, and I was helping another customer uh, finding out some information about our scan tool. I've got a guy interested in one of those, so I was researching some of the stuff that I didn't have the answers right then for. And uh, so I was looking at my phone, and I was, and I was walking out, and I heard somebody say, hey, what do you got on the truck? So, of course, I put my phone up and I said, well, I've got a bunch of stuff. He said, what kind of deals you got? I said, all kind of them. Let's just go out and look. I'd never, this guy had never got on my truck. Wow. So I'm like, let's just go look. He said, do you have time for me to come look? I said, yeah, I've got time. So we, we him and another guy come out and within two seconds of getting on the truck, they immediately go to the Snap-on cart. And he said, what do you got on this cart? I said, I'm going to sell it for around a thousand probably. I said, somewhere right in there. Can you see what I'm approved for? I said, uh, we talking about a credit account or a truck account? I said, because truck account, I'll automatically give you $400 credit. I said, but if you're wanting to pay more a week, we can do more. He said, uh, a credit account. I said, okay, no problem. You got your license. We put it in the system. He said, do you have time to do this though? I said, I I've got time. I said, it only takes <laughs> it, it only takes five to ten minutes. I said, I promise you, we, we got time. I said, now if the internet's a little slow and it, and it ain't here in five to ten minutes, I'll give them a quick call. We'll know we'll know instantly. Okay. So I mean, it took maybe three minutes, and I said, all right, you're approved for this amount with this interest rate. Um, and he said, okay. He said. Uh, how much did you say I was approved for? I said, basically any box on this truck that you want, you can have. He said, how much is that one? So I told him, and, and that box did have uh, a few scratches and stuff on it. I don't know if when I put it on the truck or something, it was on the side, so evidently it put something up beside right. it. Anyways, it, I, and I showed him, I said, look, I'm gonna discount it this much because of these scratches. It's still brand new, you got touch up paint, we can touch it up, but I didn't wanna do it until I showed that you did mm -hmm. this. He said, okay. He said, well, when can I get it? Right now. I said, we, we can we can do the deal right now, you know. And we worked out a payment plan and stuff. He said, okay, but but you have time. I said, man, I've got, I've got all the time in the world. I said, I'm here until you get off the truck. And I right. said, until, and, until that box is ready to go, I'm perfectly good being here. He said, okay. Turns out he had got on another truck and was gonna do the same process and right in the middle of waiting on the contract to come back, the the guy told him, said, well, well, I'm going to the next shop, see you next week. So he said, because wow. I, I asked him, I said, why do you keep asking if I have time? I said, man, I've got all the time in the world. And he told me the story. He said, so I, he said, honestly, he said, I, I, want, I want something and you've got what I want. I like that color. So I sold a box strictly because somebody wouldn't give him well, don't you know that other dealer's gonna feel like a dick when he comes back next week? Well, see, and that's the thing. <laughs> I mean, if he got approval with me, 99.9% .9 of the chance is he's gonna get approval with everybody else too. Right. <clears throat> because I have seen in the past where some other companies can get people approved a little quicker than we can, um, just because they are, they're, we've got a, a good credit department, but they're kind of afraid to take a chance on somebody that's never, ever, ever, ever had any type of credit at all. So, you know, there's ways to get them approved, but it, it, it has to go through several steps. He was approved instantly. There was nothing. So I'm sure he was approved on the other truck. I don't know oh, wow. if, and 
it all started because of a, a, a you know we talked about the snap-on cart last week mm -hmm. um it all started because of a, a a cart there if that had been a maco cart he may not even questioned it but you know he saw a used cart and that if it was a maco used cart he would have probably did the same thing he thought that's all he could afford uh, but when he found out he could afford more he, he bought that box and is tickled about it and i was cool. just it's good for him so got a good start that's good. He's getting married this weekend. I had to ask him if uh, he's smart to do that prior to getting well, married. Well, I asked him. It? I said uh, when we were filling out the contract, <laughs> I always make sure to show him because the number one thing that's going to get brought up in the comments about selling that box is going to be interest rate and paying for the the amount of time they pay. I always make sure to show him before we ever let him sign. Well, this is going to be your interest that you're going to pay. This is the payments. This is how this is going to work. I said, there's no there's no girlfriend, uh, and that's when he told me he's getting married. I said, well, this ain't going to put it off, right? Nope, nope. I said, <laughs> all right. I said, as long as you know that the wedding's still going to happen, I said, if, if she finds out as soon as I leave, she ain't going to say that the wedding's off. Nope, we're good. I said, okay. Uh, he's smart to do it ahead of time, though. Right? Yeah, well. And, and the you thing, don't have to ask for permission that way. Well, the thing about it is I told him, because uh, he when we were working out the payment plan, I, I asked him, I said, what is your what because i like to know what their payment is which i know comes off kind of weird because they're like well they're just going to say what what i tell them is good but what i usually tell people to do is is name the payment that you want to pay mm -hmm. in your head and then subtract ten dollars and tell me that ten dollar less amount that way if nothing else i can try to meet you in your comfort zone right because if you <clears throat> tell me 50 and it comes up 55 or you tell me 30 and it comes up 35 well now, all of a sudden, I'm over your wanted rate, mm -hmm. and even though you know you're comfortable at thirty, you're automatically gonna say, "Well, that's only five more dollars." Well, you you said thirty for a reason. So he actually said uh, he was comfortable with uh, with forty, and we was able to get it below that, so he was good to go. But, that's good. A lot of people don't realize you can pay more. You, and that's what, but you can't pay less. Well, and that's know. what I tell people. I have people that, that's gung-ho. Uh, the box before that one that I sold, the guy's like, well, I'm going to pay $100 a week. It's like, that's great, but we're setting your payment at $21 because that was the lowest that he could go. Well, just set it at $100. i am like, man, look, let me tell you how this works. We set it at $100, and next week you, go, you get sick with the flu, coronavirus, whatever, and you miss two payments. You've missed two hundred dollars in payments instead of forty dollars in payments, right? Or forty-two. But you can said, still pay the hundred. But that's what I told him. I said you can pay the hundred, and I said that's going to help you. Mm -hmm. And I have to show them how it's going to help them and, and stuff like that. So well, he everybody thinks it's going to get you a lower interest rate. Yeah, it doesn't. You know, um, <clears throat> but like the way you explained it, if you pay more, the way Matco's works, you're not paying the interest over the full five years so the the way the way it works is on the full amount I guess. on, on right the full right. amount so it, it puts you in the position to be able to pay it off early and not pay all the interest and the way that it does that is because when you apply that payment it'll give you a payoff balance and what you actually owe on uh, the dealer can find that out for you it's on our online thing so what I tell people is as they're watching their their bill keep going back every once in a while seeing what your payoff is because there's going to be quite a it, depending on your interest rate mm -hmm. there's going to be quite a, a good amount of difference usually now if you've got super good interest but then it's 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 not going to matter but if you're if you've got one of the higher interest because you don't have the greatest credit the best thing to do is watch it and have a plan to where when it gets to this number in payoff i pay it off that way i don't have to pay all the interest and, and it, it, it works out for a lot of people i've got a guy that bought a scanner he didn't have the best credit but he told me he said look when I get it to around twelve hundred dollars, and we'll pay it off. That way, okay. So the computer still showed him owing almost two thousand dollars, but he got it down to his twelve hundred dollar range payoff, so he paid it off. So he saved mm -hmm. money. And, and and I always tell people also to check randomly. Like if you know your credit score is building, four months, six months, a year, rerun it. Mm -hmm. If you can buy three hundred dollars worth of tools or four hundred whatever if you can buy that amount of tools and lower your interest rate by so many points why would you not yeah so i don't know it's 
and I agree with most of everybody that's going to comment, you know, that the interest is killer, but these techs just don't have the money to go out and buy. Well, I mean, <clears throat> like my box, if I had $32,000 laying there, yeah, I wouldn't spend it on a toolbox. And I don't know who would. <laughs> I, mean, I, 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 have sold, I have sold one box in full, <clears throat> swapped a debit card, and, and, I, and, and the only reason... That I did that. It, it was a younger kid, and he impresses me. You know, at his thinking, he's thinking a lot higher than most people do at his age. But he come on here. He wanted a box. It was a white box. He wanted a white box. Okay, we ran his credit. He didn't have no credit. He said, "Well, that's because I don't ever use credit." I'm like, "Well, that's a good thing, but it also can be a bad thing." He's like, "Well, I know." He said, "My dad tells me the same thing." And he, he said, "I just can't stand payments." Well, how much would you sell it to me? Today, paid in full. I'm like, well, I'll give you a discount if you're gonna pay in full. I mean, because it takes off. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, they the dealer actually has to protect itself on a on a contract. So we actually pay some to protect us too. So that's a whole another ball game. But either way, um, in in the skew of things, I was able to get it to him at a lower price, and he said, all right, here's my debit card. And I'm like, man, are you sure? Like. You sure you want to pay this? Because it, I mean, it was still several thousands of dollars. So, it, are you sure? You know, and uh, yep, I want it. I'm like, cool. Okay, so uh, I told him uh, I bank at the same bank he banks at. I'm like, look, this this debit card is not going to go through for this amount. Like, you'll have to call and unlock it. He's like, yeah, my sister works there. Let me call her. So he he calls and gets it unlocked. And sure enough, I mean, I asked him probably. 30 times before I ever hit, you know, go through. I'm like, this ain't gonna break you. Like, cause I felt bad. That was the only box that I think, that I, mm -hmm. well, no, there was one other box I felt bad about cause it, I could not talk the kid out of buying a box that was too big for him. But um, I'm like, man, I, I don't want to just leave your bank account zero. Like you, you're good with, he said, yep. And come to find out he's just really good with his money. And, and that's I mean, good. Really good. swapped his card, it went through. He still pays me cause he has a truck account too. He still pays me on that. Uh, I told him, I said, man, if you ever tell me you just want to buy the whole truck, I guess I'll hand you the keys. And uh, <laughs> I don't know. Go. He's, he's got a good theory. He, he, money and responsibility, a lot of people just don't have it. Mm -hmm. Like, there's people on here that have a $20 payment, and they're trying to find nickels and dimes to pay it when they make really good money where they're at. A lot of it's because of everything else they've bought. Yeah. Not him. He knows That's what he good. wants. He pays for Kid's it. He's smart. He'll go somewhere one day. Yeah, I mean, you can get everybody a part number yeah. before we start, so they won't be so uh, uh, at me. Obviously, this ain't a brand new tool, um, but it's a tool that we've been talking a lot about money and stuff. It's a tool that I've been showing this week for a way to make extra money. Yeah. As a tech, you can make extra money with this, and most of my techs are going well. If I have to use a buffer, I don't want it. I'm not a body shop guy. But I can tell you that you can make anywhere from 100 to $125 in about 30 minutes, 30, 45 minutes, you can make an extra 125 Whether it be at your house, at a dealership, at mom and pop shop, I don't care where you're at, make extra money with this, mainly just off buffing headlights. Mm -hmm. uh, it's quick, it's easy. Uh, there is a little bit of startup cost with buying this and then buying a couple of different um, levels of sandpaper. I always used uh, 3,000 to finish it right before I buffed it, but depending on the severity of it, um, we would go as low as we needed to on the sandpaper. But we would finish it with 3,000 and then we'd, we'd buff it out with um, some compound. We had a system that used one, two, and three. Uh, the one still had a little bit of grit in it. The two was um, basically almost a finisher and the, the three was more of a polish but you can make headlights go from dark and, and, and dirty looking to brand new and I like doing it this way better than you'll see some people they'll do this and then they'll clear over it I don't like that yeah, I don't it's like clear. The clear it always peels it always peels bad. I mean that headlights <clears throat> getting super hot over and over and over and over again and our dealers, the dealership that I worked at they would pay us when, when they found out well, there was two body guys or I wasn't a body guy but 
they considered me a body guy because I worked at a body shop. Um, all I did was buff and tape up cars and take cars apart and put them back together. I can't do the whole standing deal, but either way, um, I had done this a lot, so they paid us an hour and a half to do car lights. So that was something that when the inspection stickers were still around, you know, yep. one of the tests was how bright is the headlights, and you're supposed to have that machine, and you're supposed to test, and all that. Well, 90% of them, the headlights are faded because of the sun and everything, so you could polish them out. But not only that, Nissans, it's hard to see at night anyway with Nissans for some odd reason. Mm -hmm. Buff them out, it's a lot better. You're not, when you're upselling this to the customer, you're not telling them that, you know, they need a new headlight, uh, assembly or anything so in the scheme of things it's a lot cheaper if you're just looking for something to make a little extra money you can do it this way and right. especially if you're in an inspection state mm -hmm. but either way nobody wants to be squinting going down the road at night i know they i know they sell the battery uh polishers i know yep, and i burnt like five of them up doing the exact same thing you're talking <laughs> well about. that's what i was supposed to say uh, polishers have to spend uh, spin it a lot um, uh, constant more constant speed I guess you know if you're taking bolts out it's kind of hit the trigger go to the next hit the trigger usually when you're doing that you're holding it you're pushing it down you're getting real pressure behind it and you're holding that trigger down it gets really hot you can smoke them real quick so I like these um, and then I, I've had people try to argue with me and say well you you know, I, I can take my die grinder. No, we don't want to spin just super, super fast. Like, yeah. well, you, you will burn a headlight too. I've seen mm -hmm. it done. But if you, what we did is we actually bought some uh, little bitty small sanding disc and was able to put them on here with a sandpaper. Those work well, but sometimes it's just best to have just a regular sheet of sandpaper, put it on your hand. I usually do it dry then wet. Mm -hmm. um, That's what I do. I do the first one dry and then the next two wet. Yep. The the three thousand wet. You, you really don't want to skip that step. Um, always tape off your bumper cover, fender, grill, whatever, because you will mess up when you're sanding and, and hit it. So if you got tape there, you don't have to worry about it. But three thousand, you want to spend a good amount of time on sanding it out, and that but you will be surprised when you when you do that headlight and you step back. It's going to look really good. Mm -hmm. um, most of the time, after you do your first sand or your second sand on it and you wet it, the headlight's going to look like it's done while it's wet. And then when it dries, it'll, it'll of course, it'll be back to not being shiny and everything, a dull. But you can get a good sense to where you're at. So what yeah. I would do is I would <laughs> sand it with a 3000 until I was happy with what it looked like wet. If I was happy with that, then I'd buff it out, buff it really good, and, and your customers are usually really, really excited about it. So I know you mentioned that for car guys, but man, I ain't no telling how many 680s, Kenworths, uh, 660s, 587 Peterbilts that we've done here just because yeah. big truck headlights are really expensive. <laughs> well, I guess just headlights in general, yeah. um, but for the most part, and, and I know they sell these kits at, at AutoZone and Napa and stuff, those, I, I don't like those kits because most of them that I've seen, you're just it's just basically compounds with high grid in them. Mm -hmm. Well, that's not giving you a, it usually don't last as long. Right. Uh, and my dad was that type of person to always buy that kit until I did it one time with an actual buffer. And then now we do it with a buffer every time. Mm -hmm. that's just, it's just part of it. Plus, um, I don't know if, if it's ever happened here, but there was all the time where I worked at. In the wintertime, somebody's jacket that they had on would kind of scratch the paint a little bit. Not enough to get down through the clear coat, but it would be there. We could buff yeah. it out right quick. So this will save you in those instances, too, mm -hmm. if you're at a dealership. Now, if your dealership don't want to tackle it, they just don't want to make money, you can't help that. But doing these at home, family, friends, whatever, most people will pay you you know no problem here you go thanks looks good don't work so well on tail lights but that's because tail lights are colored and you usually can't tell yeah. that they're done right. we had somebody want us to do a tail light one time and it didn't really change anything because it's colored you mm -hmm. can't really tell it's ng but uh quick easy way to make money and then um uh, something else uh we had to deal with a lot is We'd have either oil change guys or the new tech or something like that. We'd get in a hurry, lift the lift up, bend the bottom of the door. 
Well, there's ways to where if they stop soon enough, you can actually bend it back, make it look really good. You can't even tell it. Like you'd show the customer with a four, here it is before. If you're not happy with it when we get done, then I'll show you and you could actually take and use, there's a roller that I sell, it's right there. It's a LT7900, we've talked about it on the video before. You can actually get behind it and roll, uh, roll it out really good, but you can also take a hammer and kind of bend it out, make it look really good. And the only thing you're gonna see there is where you were using your plastic hammer. It'll leave some smudges and stuff. This gets it off customer. There's only been one that I couldn't fix and that's because they didn't stop. I mean, they just kept on going. They heard it and kept on going. So, oh man. You know, you can't do nothing about that. That door had to be painted anyway, but you'd be surprised at the people with brand new cars that if you went in there and said, hey, we see that you've got a, a scratch on your driver's door. No, I know you're not at a body shop and I know you're more worried about turning wrenches, but um, hey, 30 bucks, we can get that out in, in 10 minutes. Yeah, okay, mm -hmm. try it. And because usually the the ones on the driver's door is from the women's fingernails. Yeah. And they don't break through, it just scratches, scratches the clear the coat. Clear. Um, quick, easy money. It's good to have at the house too because me and my wife bought a brand new Tahoe. We traded in two vehicles that we had and got a brand new Tahoe because that's what she wanted and what mama wants, mama gets. Uh, so, we went and got her a Tahoe and brought it home and I, I bet we wouldn't, we didn't have it a week. And my middle dollar at the time, uh, she was really young, decided that a rock and the driver's door were the best place to meet together. Mm -hmm. And she drew her a nice little picture on the, the door and we took one of these and, and was able to buff it right out. So That's good. the key to that and most, most uh, most body guys will tell you that if you can feel it with your fingernail, it's not gonna buff out. Um, and if you can't feel it, it'll buff right out. Mm -hmm. Kind of like, uh, I tried to tell a tech this weekend that on, uh, he was putting pistons in and he was worried about a scratch in the cylinder wall. Like, look dude, feel it, see if you feel it. Oh, I feel it. Eh, I don't feel it, try it again, you know, and he, yep, I feel it. It's like, okay, well close your eyes. And he closed his eyes and he could never find it. It's like, you, you got, you, your eyes yeah, will trick you. Yeah. Same way on a scratch. If you're staring right at that scratch, you're going to feel it every time. Like, mm -hmm. when you go over it, you're going to feel it. So, but, quick, easy money. Uh, other than that, we've just been selling a bunch of screwdrivers and ratchets and stuff. Um, I'm trying to think of any questions that I saw in the comments last week. I uh, can't think of any. Do you remember any of them? No, not really. It was all pretty good. Yeah, I think most people shoot me a message with her. I know I've been talking to one guy that's thinking about getting in, um, stuff like that. They, there's always those questions about mm -hmm. you know starting your own business. There's always different fears and stuff like that. But uh, I think I think that was it. But all right. I am I am going to get a new toolbox. I'm, I'm meeting another distributor this weekend to get another box. Uh, it's actually going to have a hutch on it. I've, cool. I've never actually had a box on the truck with a hutch on it, so I'm hoping to to push some hutches and stuff like that and show the, the benefits of it and stuff. But so you're gonna have to take some shelves down. I'm gonna have to take that back shelf down. Um, it's better for me to put it back there because I don't have to take two shelves down. So the that box will actually move forward. Hopefully I'll sell it today, that way I don't even have to do that. But, <laughs> there you go. Uh, you know, it's, it's just one of those things, right? That's it. Well, all right guys i'm gonna get back in here and get after it like always thanks for watching if you liked the video hit that thumbs up check over here for merchandise cool tools and discount codes down here and if you're not subscribed take your finger and click that button you guys have a great weekend see ya